guys. So let's jump right into this tutorial. So the things you're going to need are some gel. You're also going to need a good edge control. I use Evan 24 hour hold. You're also going to need a really good bristle brush. And then you're going to need your hair. The hair I'm using today is Rod's Kalan. And I have it in the, the size corkscrew and in the color ombre burgundy. This hair is unique because it is specifically found at a local chain of beauty supply stores right here in the DMV called Beauty For You. And um, so it's great for you ladies who want to touch your hair, feel the hair before you go ahead and purchase it and are kind of leery of ordering hair online. So you can step right into the beauty supply store and check out this hair. Um, so for this style, you're going to want to split your hair into two sections. You're going to go ahead and apply your gel, then brush that through, apply your edge control, brush that through, and then use two to three black rubber bands to secure a ponytail. And you're going to want to do the same thing on the other side. So once you got your two ponytails, you're going to want to braid them down or if you don't know how to braid, you can just twist them down and then go ahead and wrap it into a small bun and secure that with two black rubber bands. So once you're done with that, this is what your foundation should look like. And then you're going to want to go ahead and start crocheting in the hair. So again, like I said, this hair is by Toyoka line, but it is exclusively found at Beauty For You, which is a local chain of beauty supply stores in the DC, Maryland, and Virginia area. Um, yes, yeah, so definitely go and check out this hair. I really like this hair. This is my first time trying a color for my crochet hair. The colored hair is ombre with dark roots, and I really like that. The hair was so easy to work with. The loop that comes pre-looped is perfect you guys like I loved working with this hair it's soft it's bouncy and the loop is large enough that it's easy to work with for beginners so the technique I'm using is the braidless crochet method if you're um, curious of how I do it I have very detailed tutorials on my channel and I will link them in the information bar down below and yeah, so this is how it came out. I really love this look. You could leave it just like that. But for me, I'm going to get it more full and make it look like really big Afro puffs. So I'm going to go into each curl and separate each curl three times so that it gets nice and full. So this is pretty much how it's looking halfway done. And then, yeah, once I did the other side, I was really feeling myself, you guys. I did a little jig just to show you. <laughs> and then you're gonna wanna go ahead and trim it up. So I started off by trimming the center so that I could really define both ponytails separately. So you definitely wanna trim that center line of demarcation so you have two specific ponytails. And then just trim around the outside of the edges of the ponytails so it looks nice and round. you go ahead and trim it to the way that you like it you can go ahead and start working on your edges your baby hairs and then the back of your head what I use for my edges and my baby hairs I always use Evan edge control and um, I use my toothbrush and then I go over top of the edge control with got to be glued gel I did the same thing in the back just to get it really slick down and really laid. And then I just tied it up with a piece of fabric that I had laying around. And then that's pretty much the end of the look. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you have questions, leave it in the question in the um, comment section down below. And yeah, I love you guys and I'll see you in the next one.